um, instead of driving home late last night, we decided to just stay here because it made more sense. Um, I do need to be back though, um, go around. Oh, I'm sleepy. I need to be back though for around four, so I'm gonna be setting off at like 12. Running a bar? Ooh, having a bath in my old house. Um, I kind of, oh, I thought I wearing a Christmas jumper because that's the only jumper that I could find here that I've left. Um, so Christmas, yeah, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. I kind of, whoa, nearly dropped the camera. I kind of want to go into my attic and see if I can find any like really cool fun stuff that I can take back with me. So I think I might do that while my bath is running as it's literally just there. Oh, my attic is freaky. Let's go, let's go. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to be able to climb up here. And the attic could be saved. There's cobwebs. I have immediately found a picture of me and my old guinea pig, Monty. Look at him. Look at my awesome jacket. So cool. Planet Earth, the world and beyond. Zoe Sugg, Autumn 1998. So I was eight years old at this point, guys. Wow, world climates. I was learning about world climates at eight. That's pretty good, right? How the earth began. It was made. My writing's pretty neat for an eight year old. Fossil hunting by Zoe Sugg. <laughs> oh my god. I kind of remember this. Reported by Zoe Sugg. New planet discovered. Oh, look at my spaceship. <laughs> I can't believe I was learning this when I was eight. Jesus Christ. I thought you learned about stuff like this in secondary school. Mars's structure. Unless this was like homework and I was just a major keen bean and I was like... Oh, <laughs> what's this? I depend on, they depend on me. My friends, my guinea pig, my mum and dad, my brother, and there's a little poo splat on the bottom. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> That's got nothing to do with space. What is this? Why is my head teacher pretending to take me to a spaceship? <laughs> oh, this is what I would take to space. Oh God, I want bloody hard on this thing. Why did I do flaps? Sweets. <laughs> What's under here? Crayons and paper. A makeup bag, a personal stereo, bubble bath, mirror brush, toothpaste. Why did I want to take a back scratcher to space? <laughs> Why? Oh, there I am. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Look at my nose and hair. Oh, well, I was only very little. Oh, this is all smashed, but look. There's me and Joe. Look at my hair. My hair was crazy. <laughs> That's me with a very big hat on. There's me, Joe, and my mum. There's my brother. There's me and my brother. Look at my face. And that's me as well, <laughs> my little straw hat. My hair was mental. This is what my hair used to be like, guys. Look at it, like blonde and curly. This was my photography when I was in like, oh, there's my friend Emma who had the baby, who's having the baby. <laughs> and there. Oh my God, this is so funny. I've crossed out and put not very serious. <laughs> She's like hanging herself with some pearls or something. Oh, Emma. My working prince. Look at Emma. She's so pretty. I loved photography so much. <laughs> the eye makeup above really exaggerates her fear, and her prominent stare holds fear also. Oh my god. Jesus. Okay, that's my photography. Let's not look at any more of that. What's this? Girls are beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Girls are beautiful. That's what I wrote when I was five. 
I like apples. Girls are beautiful. They are. That they are. I like the octopus. Someone's ticked it, but so do I. I like the swan. So do I. Sp sh I must have been really young when I did this. I like the rain. I like my feet. I like my feet. I like the tree. I like the sweet. Oh my god. Oh no. I ring. I am wearing a ring. Orange. I am a orange. I am watching the fireworks. I wedding and my auntie was well. She was getting married. She was wearing a white dress and went to her honeymoon. Oh, she looks like she is vomiting. <laughs> oh my god, who remembers these? Reading together, my reading record. Alex and Roy, best friends. Page 10, really good. Beautiful reading, Zoe. Good girl. That was my mum. Really good in some parts and a little bit boring in others. I don't think I will read it again, but I like the idea that one day their best friend... One day they're best friends and the next they are not at all. Excellent read. Excellent reading. Really funny. What's the point of this? What a good girl. Your reading is excellent. Well done. That's funny. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Page 16. Really good and exciting. Mum says 2000. I was 10. Chapter 4. Silver Sword. Really exciting. Really good. So he reads really well when he's enjoying the book that she got for Christmas. Good girl, nearly halfway through the book and you only started it on the 6th. Must be good. Antonio S. I used to read, I'm not joking, so many books when I was younger. I was a complete bookworm. Okay, so this is when I was totally obsessed with Harry Potter. This was a poem that I wrote. <laughs> Three best friends at Hogwarts stay that... Their enemy Malfoy gets his own way. Some teachers are cruel, Snape's top of the list. The harsh bin forest is layered with mist. Dumbledore is headmaster. He is humble and wise. Then there is Hagrid, bigger than man-size. Voldemort is horrid. He murders people quick. If you hear if you hear about him too much, it's enough to make you sick. I end my poem here, but there's so much more you have to know. But if you want to see for yourself to Hogwarts, you must go. By Zoe Sug. <laughs> oh my god. The rules of Quidditch. Oh my god. <laughs> I really liked it, didn't I? Location experts, wizard job for Harry Potter film. This is when I met them, when they were this young. Um, filming in Laycock. Because they filmed in Laycock, that's why I got to be in it. Spells, the really easy ones. The medium ability spells. Advanced spells. The unforgivable curses. <laughs> My pace slips. <laughs> things. These are things I stole from the production. Hermione's hair clip. Worn. A marble from the tent. A piece of rubbish from ha from the Harry Potter tent. A stick from the tent. A beetle from the Harry Potter tent. <laughs> Some plastic from a straw from the Ribena that we drank all day in the Harry Potter tent. This is something that was on Harry's desk in the film. Oh, when did I sneak that and a plastic spoon from the tent? Potter fans are warned off. Costume fitting. Oh. Entrance hall. Oh my god, why? This is what I used to do before the internet, guys. Harry Potter. I am writing the first chapter for Harry Potter, the seventh book. I made this up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, see, guys, I used to write stuff. I used to write little books. Flavours of Bertie Potts, every flavour bean. This is a poster of Diagon Alley that I made. <laughs> no. Word art, word art. Shotgun this, Peter pa Peter Rabbit, cut China China wear. Shotgun, shotgun. Thank you very much. Mum, dad, I've shotgunned. Duplo! Oh my god! Oh my god, there's Duplo! Oh my god, who <laughs> remembers Duplo? So exciting. I feel like I'm getting so many cobwebs in my hair right now. Look at this cute picture of me and Joe. Oh, so cute. I've also found this, which is probably Joe's. It says Baby's Diary. Hmm. Hello. Could be mine. To Zoe. Happy third birthday. 333. Three, three. Who made this for me? To Zoe, happy birthday, Becky and Daniel and Sarah and Ben. Oh my god, that is so cute. Okay, let's have a look. This is me and all my Zoe Elizabeth Sugg 280390. Yeah, has that just blown your mind? 
I was born at 6.50 a.m. My mum's handwriting is bloody good. Six pounds, 13 ounces, brown hair, blue eyes, 52 centimetres long. Why did you pick Zoe? Zoe because it was a pretty name and Elizabeth after her great granny Chapman. Aww. Zoe sleeping in her cot. Look at my mouth. <laughs> Zoe at three weeks. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. My hair. That's my hair. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me feel so sick. Zoe at four weeks having a bath. <laughs> that teddy is as big as me. Baby's firsts. Okay, let's see. Baby's first words. Dada, mama, doggy, James, drinkies, Nina, yellow. At 17 months, September, yoghurt, spoon, shoes, socks, Joseph, bread, biscuit, cake, smarties, out, up, down, book, jigsaw, cow, sheep, duck, stubby, Adam, sleep, bath, soap, nana, grandad, James, juice, biscuit, work, baby, monkey, rain. 17 months, I started saying things. Zoe took her first three steps on Thursday the 25th of April 1991. By Saturday she could walk on her own but was still unsteady. By May the 20th Zoe was walking well and most of the time and by the end of May she really was walking non-stop and hardly ever crawled. On June 24th we bought Zoe's first proper hard solid shoes from Fi Fireman Hardy and Willis in Chippenham. They were white sandals with pink and mauve stitching and cost 12 99 <laughs> There I am. Hello! Baby's first mischief. Oh no. 11 months, pulling out all the CDs from the shelf. 15 months, opening cupboard doors and pulling out cereal packets. In brackets, Golden Grahams. Oh my God, I still love those. Favourite clothes, pretty party dress, floral dress. At the age of four, she became adamant that she wanted to wear any dresses, not trousers, as they are for boys. <laughs> Lol. Zoe's hair, age three. Oh my God, look how blonde that is. That's like my hair now. What's this? Zoe's hair from Fringe, aged one. I had a lot of freaking hair. If she could just cut that, oh my god. It feels really weird to me that I'm stroking the hair of, like, my child, my, like, ugh, my hair from when I was little. Helps polish and dust at 17 months. Tidies toys. Uh, helps mummy with Joseph giving him toys and handing mummy nappies. <laughs> First attempt at wiping up. <laughs> Starting school. In, on January 1995, Monday, 9am, arrived at school with Alex. With Alex! Oh! Alex, we arrived at school together on the first day. Weather fine but cold, school until 12. Zoe enjoyed it very much, started full time to three on January 30th. New friends. Zoe made lots of new friends when she started to play school. Her favourite was Alex Shipman, then there was Emily Gulliford, Freya Healy, Adam Shipman, Vicky Flower, Emily Pulleyblank, Sarah Jane Fall. Started to use the potty, fully trained by February. I was one when I was using the potty. What the hell? January 21st, 1992, I was one. I started to use a potty, fully trained by February. So I was fully trained at one years old to use a potty. That is not normal. Winter time, first sight of snow. Oh my God. Guys, I have just found the freaking book I wrote that I always talk about that I said I couldn't find. No! Oh my freaking god! I've just found it! It's called Boys Bums and the Family from Hell by Zoe Sugg. This is the front cover that I drew. Izzy, who was older, then Ollie, then Maisie, who was younger, and then the dog. Oh my god. Look, I've done it like, I've done it like a blog post. 7pm. 10 reasons why it's hard to potty train a three-year-old. This is exactly the kind of style I've done my new book in. They never seem to tell you when they want to go. When they do, they just do it in their nappies. Oh my god. Guys, this is the book I wrote. Look how much stuff there is. I don't think I ever finished it. I am so taking this with me. Look at the freaking size of that. Oh my gosh. Okay, how old was I when I did this? I must have been about 15, 14, 15 when I wrote this. We now leave it. What? I think my followers must have got to their limit then. What do you mean? Not getting any more followers on Twitter? No. Oh. Everyone go follow at Daddy Sug on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know I was filming, did you? No. <laughs> okay, so me and Alfie are leaving now. Um, I'm taking back with me a lot of stuff that I found in the attic and some mugs and things. <laughs> um, not that I need any more mugs, 
But um, thanks for having us, Dad. Thanks for the delicious roast. Pleasure. Got a roast baby now. Thanks for eating it. Well, I'll always eat it because it's delicious. Delicious. So, come on, Alfred. Alfie's got to go into London now because you're going to go on ITV. ITV. ITV Live. Look at him. He looks all smart. I like this. It's like the soft. Look smart. I just bought it again because it's soft. Really nice and soft. He's chewing on a piece of plastic. I'm not the only one. When you buy new clothes, you know, the little bit that comes in there, I always chew it. What if you swallow it? I won't. <laughs> got a cheeky little McDonald's. Oops. Um, Alfie got two drinks little, so that they last. so much. I know. Alfie got two drinks so that they kind of last me the trip home. Because I do like a Sprite Zero from McDonald's. Only from McDonald's. You're drinking it though. You said you didn't want to drink. I wish I got chicken nuggets, look. I have a feeling you're going to just drink all of that without realising. It's mostly gone already. Alfie! You've got another one. Got to, it's got to last me three hours. I'm home! Whoop! Hoopa! Look at you, little boys. You've made a bit of a mess down here. Have you been good boys? Have you? Would you like some food? Oh, you both look more and more similar as time goes on. Okay, I'm going to get you some foodies now. Although you have already been fed today, greedy guts. I have just uploaded my vlog. Oh, this is probably not a good angle. I've just uploaded my vlog and I have just been on Skype to Louise for... How long were we on Skype for? Let me see. One hour and 27 minutes and 29 seconds. So that is what I have been doing this evening. Um, it was super nice to catch up with Louise. Um, there are so many comments in my videos that are like, why aren't you friends with Louise anymore? I am friends with Louise, guys. It's just that I've been very busy. She obviously has her things she's doing back at home. And we have arranged to see each other. It just so happens that we haven't seen each other yet. But it doesn't mean we're still not best friends or that something's happened. Nothing's happened. We still talk to each other. We still love each other very much. Um, so you can stop uh, doing that now. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go to sleep. I've got quite a bad headache. Um, I think maybe I just haven't drunk enough fluids today. Um, so I'm going to have a big pint of water. And I think I might go to sleep and have a little bit of an early night. Alfie's in London. I think with Jamal doing something. I wish I remembered what he. I should really listen to him more. He was like, oh, I'm going to do this thing with Jamal and it sounds really cool. And I was like, Yeah, that sounds awesome. But I don't remember what it was. Anyway, he'll probably be home at like ridiculous, ridiculous o'clock in the morning, turn on all the lights and tell me all about it. So maybe I'll vlog for you then and you can experience what I experience when Alfie comes in from a night out, which is not quietness or. Stealth. Stealthy. Being stealthy is being quiet, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, so yes, that is very exciting and I am going to go to bed. Good night.